Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Minecraft update for the Bedrock Edition, version 1.19.60. So let's get right into it. So for the first part of this update, it is all the experimental changes. To activate these, you will go into your settings, activate the experimental gameplay toggle, and when you log back into the copy of your world with the experimental features on, you will have access to all of these. So for the first one, we get the lovely piglin head. Woo woo. Put it on your head. When you move, your ears flop flop flop. Place it down on the ground. Do whatever you want with it. If we pop in here, you get this by blowing up a piglin with a charged creeper. Just like so. And there you have it. A piglin skull. Now what you can do with these is you can put them on top of note blocks. This works with all of the in-game mob heads now. Yes, skeletons and wither skeletons too. I just forgot to put them up here. We'll get those out in a second. But if you put them on top of the note block and press the button, it'll play that mob's ambient noise. And this does not work with the Steve head, no noise is made. But if we go ahead and grab the Skelly Skull and the Wither Skelly Skull, you will see what I mean by they also make noise. Both of these will make the same noise. Now for this next part, we have Bamboo. So you can go ahead and now craft Bamboo Wood, or blocks of Bamboo, with 9 Bamboo. When you place these down, you can strip them with an axe and mine these back up to get block of stripped bamboo. Now with two blocks of stripped bamboo, you can craft bamboo planks. And I'm sorry, I got that backward. One block of stripped bamboo will get you two bamboo planks. But that is all the changes with the experimental stuff for this update. Next up, they have implemented the features for Golem and boss spawn eggs. So using a spawn egg, we can now spawn in iron golems, snow golems, ender dragons, and withers. Now, to get the snow golem and iron golem eggs, you will just take a look in the creative inventory and you can find these, just like so. Yeah, this guy's just gonna cause a mess, so let's get rid of him real quick. Well, I would like to make a bug report, actually. So I have game rule for mob damage off, and the wither can still blow everything up, so... Uh, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. But you know what? I'll report that later. Uh, anyway, you can find the golem spawn eggs in your creative inventory, and to get the wither and ender dragon ones, you will just get them out of your commands. Using a command, you can give yourself an ender dragon one. As you can see, I now have two. And the same way, you can give yourself a wither one. As you can see, I now also have two of those. Now, unfortunately, these guys have just completely destroyed my setup here. For our next feature, it has to do with horses and animals and dispensers. So if you already have a tamed horse, llama, or donkey, whatever it may be, using a dispenser, you can now put saddles and armor on them. With this horse, using a dispenser, we can put on the saddle and the armor. With this llama, we can go ahead and put on the carpet. You can put the chest on there too. And same thing with the donkey. Chest and saddle. For our next change, zombies and just all, our, all mobs can now pathfind through wither roses. As you can see, this guy is attracted to that iron golem over there. And they will just walk straight through these wither roses. And if we go ahead and put myself in survival, they're just going to go right through. Uh. But yeah, these guys, any mob, no matter what it is, can now just walk straight through with the roses. Previously, you could use them as like a, uh, a shield, a barrier pretty much. Nothing could get you through there, but they can now, so watch out. Next up, Crimson and Warp Woods now have their own unique sounds when placing them. Yeah. 
as you can see, they're very similar to the normal sounds, but they do have that tinge of this nethery, warped, just weird, fun noise. Now, for this next one, it has to do with the lovely respawn anchors. So, previously, if you had one of these placed down, and you were in survival, which I feel a little worried to do with those guys over there, if it was a charged respawn anchor, no matter what the level was, when you mined it, it would still have that charge, and it would be like that in the inventory. Now when you break it, you just get an empty respawn anchor, and it stays like that when you place it. Now, for any of you that may or may not have one of these in your world as an item with a charge, save it. Those items are now insanely rare because you cannot obtain them anymore in vanilla Minecraft. For our next change, the door and button sounds have been changed to closely match those in Java. So if we go ahead and just... Yeah, like that. Previously, these sounds were a lot more high-pitched, if you remember, but they have now been changed to match Java. Next up, beacons. Now their particle effects are more transparent. So if we go ahead and get ourselves the beacon effects right now, as you can see, these particles, I still have them, but they're not as much, and they're definitely, they're more of a transparent yellow. They're much, much more minimalistic. If you uh, remember playing with these beacons, especially when you were doing haste, with big mining projects, oh, these things were right in your face and you couldn't see anything. So this change, I very much so appreciate. This next one, not necessarily too big of a thing, but a very yeah. nice cosmetic. Evokers can now properly sit in boats and minecarts. Previously, they would just stand straight up, kind of like, kind of like a creepy vampire. But now they sit. They've got some characteristics to them. Now this next one has been a bug on Minecraft for so long. And this has broken so, so many different possible item sorters. Basically, so you had a hopper completely full of items like this. If I were to throw three netherite down like so, you know, they'll get picked up. But previously, if I had all these other items on top of the hopper before the netherite, and then I put the netherite there, could not pick up that netherite because it was trying to pick up some other item. Now, that has been fixed. All the netherite has gone into the hopper, as you can see here, and that is, this is such a good change, guys. I'm probably going to be putting out a multi-item sorter sometime in the next few weeks now that this change has been made, because this just makes life so much easier, and we have access to so many lovely things when it comes to items. For our next change, it has to do with rapidly attacking mobs. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to quickly take care of those guys. Previously, when you were attacking a mob very quickly, you would actually do more damage to your weapon than it should have taken. When you are rapidly attacking a mob, the durability will now go down much, much slower. For this next change, stone buttons will now sound the same as levers. Let's give it a listen. Yep, that's the same sound. Now, of course, there are plenty more changes in this update. I'm going to put some up on screen right now. They have, first of all, fixed many, many, many possible bugs that could have crashed your game. Which are always nice to see, the less crashing, the better Minecraft experience, as usual. They have done multiple updates to touch controls, so you touch players should now hopefully have a lot of nice fixes. I will have that up on the screen right now for you to read through. If you play on an Android device, there have been many changes to that as well, just for you Android players. And for those of you who play on Realms, there have been a large variety of changes there as well. Now, of course, there is more to this update than just that, but that is the big stuff. That is what is going to actually affect and be involved in your everyday gameplay. If you are interested in reading every single change, the change log will be linked down in the description below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. It would truly mean the world to me. 
I put a lot of thought and effort into these videos, and I would love it if I could see your appreciation. Anyways, guys, this has been Mr. Gaming Aquatic, and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.